put it together for Representative Sal Escamilla. Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah, I did have some oral surgery. I had my six front teeth taken out because they fractured from my bridge work. So it's a good thing they had a partial. Otherwise, I'd be standing here looking like a hockey player from Ontario. <laughs> but what do we demand from our government? Freedom. Let's think about that. We demand a national defense, which I think we're adequate in. We demand infrastructure for roads and highways and bridges, which we aren't very good at. We want them to protect our borders, which we're horrible at. We want them to help us wade through Social Security. We want them to help us to wade through veterans issues. What do you ask for your state government? You ask for them for help for education, because they supply the money for education. By the way, we've done so well at that, we're, we're 49th out of 50 for graduation rates. Yeah, 49th out of 50, almost dead last. That's not acceptable, but then again, it's in the hands of your current governor. We want roads and infrastructure, which I think we're doing some good things, not so good things. More importantly, we want a balanced budget, which we do get in the state of Oregon, but it's kind of a fallacy because they have a tendency to borrow. Anytime they have money, they borrow. We need to put stability back in our budgetary process. But more importantly, we need to have programs that we want initiated and set the policy first and then put the money toward it. Right now we put money toward it and then create the policy. That's just backwards. What about your local government, your, uh, your county government? What do you want from it? You want a good planning department? You want an infrastructure? You want to have a sheriff's department, a jail? And of course you want to be able to get your permit process. Same with your city. Good roads, clean, good parks. You want a good parks and rec, and you want to have a good police force, which we have one of the best in that. But what do we demand? Yes, what do we demand as people? I think we demand the preservation of our Constitution and the Bill of Rights. I am very fortunate because I am part of what they call the National Sportsman's Caucus for State Legislators. There's myself and three other people, and by the way, it's bicameral, bi-chamber, bi-partisan. Bi, uh, it's, it's a nonpartisan position. We are the largest caucus in the state of Oregon. There's 41 members out of 90 who belong to that caucus. We stopped all of the Senate's gun bills all eight of them, before they ever hit the floor. Why do we want to take away your rights as an individual to own a gun? Or your rights as an individual to possess one? I don't know. I don't think the bad guys are probably going to do a background check on the street. They're probably just going to sell it. I know it's it's interesting to see what's happened in England. England gave up their guns and what happened to them? They ended up, the crooks are the only ones with the guns. The good people, the law-abiding people, gave those up. Never, folks, never give that right up. Never. We demand to be left alone. I think that's most important. I don't want to be burdened by regulations. I don't want a bunch of laws that make me have to do this or do that. All I want to be is left alone, and I want to go down to my city council or I want to go down to my county commissioners and say, hey, this is what I feel we should be doing in this county, in this city. I don't want to have to go to Salem, which you never know what's going on because you never get a notice, other than if you pay real close attention. But how many of us actually have that opportunity? You don't. Washington, D.C., it's even worse. So I want local control and I want people like you and I making our decision. Do we know what's best for us or does Salem or does Washington DC know what's best for us? It's us. How do we change that? It's very simple. You look around and you see these candidates we have here today. And by the way, I think I'm gonna make a prediction here. I'm gonna win this election. Yes! 
I'm one of three candidates. There's Sal Escobedo Republican, there's Sal Escobedo Democrat, and then there's Sal Escobedo Libertarian, because I got all three nominations. But you look and see who we have, like Daughter Richardson for governor. You have Dave Daughter for the Senate. You have Monica Wavy for the Senate. You have all these great candidates. Change begins with them. I don't care who you supported in a primary, because now's the time that if you don't vote, and if you don't get behind our candidates for our party and for our train of thought, folks, you're just helping out the opposition. One in five of us, one in five of us stay home and don't vote. But do you know if we all voted on the Republican ticket, that we would win every statewide election in the state of Oregon. So I'm going to ask each and every one of you, get behind our candidates, but more importantly, you get with 10 people that you know, and we all know 10 people, and ask and make sure that they vote. And ask them to get 10 people and make sure that they vote. And spread that out, because if we do, Dennis Richardson will be your next governor. Monica Wavy will be your next senator. Dave Daughter will be your next senator from here. Get out the vote, and then we can get our county commissioners. I love being having a county commissioner because you can go up and you can talk to them at any time. If you don't like what they do, you can throw something at them at the produce section of Food for Less. That's the way it is on the city council as well. The most purest form of government's local control. Get out the vote, folks, because if we don't, they're going to win. Thank you. Thank you, Sal. Let's hear it for Sal. Yahoo! Working hard up there, let me tell you.